All right, folks, 2012 Infinity G37. Common issue is this drain tube and the plug under the dash gets uh, plugged up, and then water comes in here. We had a lot of water coming in here. I actually showed you guys a video where I drilled a couple holes to get it out. So we've gone ahead and we've taken out the glove box. We've taken off this A-pillar piece. We've taken off this one piece over here, which isn't really necessary for the vent. And there's our glove box and everything. is about six or seven screws, and then it just pops free. And I want to show you guys, like I showed you here, this is the drain tube. It's a little bit of water, a little bit of dirt in here. We're going to take some water and try to flush that through. And I want to show you guys where the actual tube, where the actual grommet piece is. Hope you see that little nipple right there? That is the part in question that goes along with the hose that drains the sunroof. I'm going to go ahead and put the hose back into the picture if I can. And if you guys can see that, there we are, right in that little narrow angle. See, so that's the drain tube hose. So I basically pulled the drain tube hose off of there. So now we're going to try to clean it. I'm actually going to try to clean that nipple with a little um, spray red tip. I'm going to poke it in there and see if I can get that dirt out of there. Otherwise, we're going to grab some pliers and untwist that and then clean it and then have to put it back in there. So we're continuing this project. All right, guys. So basically, we got this tube off of the grommet the drain plug and see you see how i got my pliers in there like these are 11 inch pliers i got from harbor freight so we're going to try to wiggle this and we're going to try to get this grommet this drain tube thingy typey free because you know there are multiple options for this guys we can either do this and get this cleaned up and use this stock tube or we can go ahead and take another tube and we can drain it down to where i drilled a couple of holes in the floorboard or we can do a t-connection to go to the ac condensate line but let me see did it come out? I think it did. Yes, it did come out. Well, interesting. Now let's see if we can actually get this thing out. Maybe if I release it from the pliers and get my finger in there. Oh, and it fell. Hold on. I almost got it, guys. Ah. Okay, folks, there it is. So do you see right there? Now this, this, what happened here was a little bit of the seal is kind of messed up. This is a 2012. See there, see the gunk, guys? See all that gunk inside right here and the gunk inside this baffle? What we're going to do, we're going to take this baffle out of here and then that's just going to let everything flow through. Some people take a straw, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to get this baffle in. And that kind of goes in conjunction with this. I did see some gunk. So the way that the way it works is this tube, see guys? It clips on like that and then it was into the car right there. So what's happening, all the gunk is backing up and because of all this crap and then it was just backing up and leaking out. And the, the hose wasn't even really on. It was only on like this because the water was forcing it off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean this off. And so you guys, you can take one of these things right here. And we're just going to use it to clean this. But we're actually going to go wind up going into the house. We're going to go in the house. We're going to run some water on this. And then we're going to go ahead and take a pair of pliers and pop this baffle off. And I'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like with the baffle off. And then we'll put it back in. All right, go guys. Another part this ongoing saga with the G37 drain tube. So as you can see, we took the drain tube off and you can see we took this baffle, just took a pair of pliers and just broke it free. This little baffle that was inside that was kind of slowing things down and getting clogged up with dirt. And then I went ahead here and I cleaned everything off. As you can see, it goes straight through, nice and clean. So we've gone ahead and done that. There is a little issue with the gasket around here where it's a little messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this uh, multi-purpose glue right here and put it on this gasket here because you want to have this gasket nice and tight when you pop this drain tube back in and then we're going to put the hose on the other side so what i did was to clean it guys i just went ahead and took some q-tips right you can see that i just took some q-tips took it out grab all the gunk out of there got it nice and clean so the goal is we're going to have this drain tube nice and clean that baffle is off of there and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to route some water all right, folks, so what we're doing is we doing this drain plug here some more, and what we're going to do is we're going to run some water. We already ran some water through the drain tube, and it came out nice and clear. So basically, the hole is right about right in there. So all I'm going to do is pour in some water over here. And look at that. See, the water is coming out right away, and it is bringing us a little bit of gunk. So that's why we're doing this. We're going to do this here. So we're going to try to clear this up as you can see see we're going ahead and we're putting it here and it's going down the drain we're going to clear this up because my goal is to here is to go ahead and make sure this drain tube is 100 percent clean of gunk and since we already have the drain tube and then we already have our drain plug as you can see is nice and super clear 
through, then we'll have a nice clear path for the water to go and hopefully we won't have any more problems with this G37 sunroof drain leak. Alright guys, this is part 20 in this crazy setup here, this Infinity G37 leak. I'm basically coming at it from the front of the car, the dash, and that right there is the nipple. So I've gone ahead and we've taken it out and we're showing you guys how to do the water drain and now we have it pushed back in place. We used our pliers and we came up from the bottom and then I've gone ahead in here and I've taken a pair of screwdriver here and I've pressed it and I believe that I have it in place. One thing you have to do is you have to, there's some insulation on the side. You have to move that insulation so you can get this thing to clip in. So I believe I have it in place right now, guys. So you can come at it from here. So this is a good reason why to keep this vent piece off. So you can go ahead and you can press it in from here. So you can see the, you can see the part right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the hose. we got to get past that wiring, that piece of wiring right there. Ay, 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 why is the wiring? There we go. Okay, now the wiring's out of the way. So now I should be able to... Pop the hose back on, and that's about as far as it goes, guys. It only goes on about, yeah, it goes on about that far. So hopefully, when we're gonna go do this right now, um, we have the hose on as far as it can go, and as far as it can go is gonna be as good as it needs to be. And we're gonna run some tests right now, guys, for water. So we're gonna see if the water is either leaking out of where the gasket kind of messed up onto the car or maybe it's coming out the hose but i think that ho that hose is definitely on as far as it was before another thing you can do is we can remove some of this tape up here and kind of get it down but you guys get the idea of how to hook the hose in there right so all right now we're gonna cancel this and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab some water and see if what's gonna happen all right guys so as the previous video shows We've been working on this drain tube, and that is the piece, the drain tube where it goes into the plug. Hopefully you can see that kind of right there. It's really tricky to see with the camera. There you go. You can see the whole, now you guys can see the holes right there. And you can see I took all this part up here, and we went ahead and we pushed it together underneath here. And then what I did, guys, is to test things. As I went up here, and there's a hole right in here where it drains, so I went ahead and I poured some water into the drain here, and then obviously it comes down this hose here and goes into that piece right over there, and it come in over here, and I didn't see any leaks. So hopefully this problem is solved, but now I have to go and put everything back together. All right, everybody, so as you can see, we have put everything back together, right? So we went ahead and we had put some water in here and we've taken this side piece out and taken all of this out. And now you go back underneath here and everything is back together, including the functional glove compartment. So we went ahead and had tested it and we didn't see any water leaking, guys. So this is basically you're watching from start to finish how to do this. And it's not that terrible. It's a several hour job out here, but I did it myself and saved some money.